What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the reaction. So today I will react to Kendrick Lamar. They not like us. They not like us. Hey, let's get to today's reaction. Hold on, hold on. This is not they like us. Not like us. Can we Ain't that the same fucking song from Thing? I'm kind of confused, y'all. But if this is, if he's previewing new music, it's tough. He can't be stopped. He's having a marathon right now. Oh, pause it right there. Wasn't that the clown? that was on stage with him in LA when he had the whole big performance with um, Dr. Dre and DJ Mustard and the rest of them. Hey, Mustard. Hold on, pause it right there. Is she doing the well, please forgive me, Compton gang members or anything? I'm just kind of confused, so educate me down in the comment section. But she is dancing on beat. That sister is killing it. And I like the fact that it wasn't a skinny girl. He's showing that all girls diverse, they, uh, you know, fat, skinny, big could do it. Whoa, hold on right there. Did y'all just see what happened? Y'all see how it looked like the enemy was walking up on him and he was protected by the guard, which was like the higher power to pull the enemies back. No woman's formed against me shall prosper. Hold on, pause right there. I don't know, like, I like the fact that Kendrick is poking at Drake, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like this has been long overdue for somebody to give Drake a taste of his own medicine. Oh! Hold on, so isn't Drake represented by the owl in this OVO? So it's showing right here that Kendrick Lamar is whacking Drake. It says disclaimer, no OV holes were hung during the, the making of this video. So I like the fact that Kendrick Lamar made it kind of like a parody saying like nobody was actually harmed in the making of our beef, but let's have fun. I'm gonna give him a good whackation. Let me tell you something. Y'all can say what y'all want. Y'all can say that uh, Drake revived Kendrick Lamar's career. Kendrick Lamar has always been gifted and talented, but I feel like we didn't expect him to come back this soon with a banger and a heavy hitter. Notice how he put out like three or four different songs, and this song is the song of the summer right now. Like, sorry, not sorry. Nobody's blasting Drake. Nobody's playing that. You put Kendrick on East Coast, West Coast, they not like us. So the bop, get it, bop, 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 Hold on. So remember when Drake kind of like made a song responding, well it was a diss track responding to somebody using AI Tupac voice. So he's like, yo, that's not sliding over here. You're not disrespecting the GOAT, the legend, Mr. Tupac Shakur himself. And then Tupac Estate went on to sue Drake, so Drake had to take it down. Oh. 
Oh, that's DJ Mustard. Yo, let me tell you, I love the fact that Compton, sorry if I'm pausing a lot, but Compton still got that old school setup. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, everything isn't, you know, like 2024. Like, they still got shops that look like his 1980s. Like, some of that shit does not change. And I think that's what makes it so historic and, and beautiful that you could go back to some of these landmarks and recreate, you know, memorable or viral moments, you know, like this. But that was deep right there. He said, you fucked on Wayne girl while he was locked up. But when he came home, you got Wayne tattoo on you. There's a lot of fuckery that go on in the industry that sometimes we see and it does not get addressed by celebrities because TMZ is too scared that they're going to get death threats and people are scared that they're going to get threats as a whole by these rappers so they don't want no parts or want to be bothered. But the fact that Kendrick Lamar is actually pointing out the facts like this is a fact that's a fact that's a fact that's a fact like and i'm going to keep eating you up pause it right there how many of y'all caught that verse he said it's all eyes on me and i'm gonna send it up to pop two pocket so all eyes on me obviously Yo, Kendrick really got the city outside for this song, bro. Let me tell you, over the weekend, Spike Lee had a block party, his annual block party he could ever get. They played, they not like us, everybody lost it, bro. Let me tell you, there's a lot of people that don't like Drake, and there's a lot of people that wanted Drake to meet his match. That just goes to show you that everybody will meet their match one day. No matter if it's fighting, rapping, boxing, you name it. I love the fact that everybody is kind of like bouncing off of each other's energy. Like the fucking clown colors is, I want to say coincide or maybe adding up with the spray crank graffiti shirts that say they not like us. And this kind of resembles like everybody sitting in the classroom learning a lesson and taking notes. But the moral of the story is like they not like us. Like. You want to be like us, you want to be gangsta, you want to have this, you want to have that, but it's like in reality, you had to go through other people to get your gangsta car, you know what I'm saying? You had to go through this person, that person, that person, like, it's in my DNA that I'm like born this way. Is that the wife? People was pointing that out. Let me see how I hit that shit. Hit that shit. Hey! Ho 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 She a fan, he a fan, he a fan. That's what I'm talking about. Let me tell you something. My wife better have my back like that. Ten toes, number four. If I'm beefing with somebody, we all beefing with somebody. You know what I'm saying? And she was hitting that shit so smooth. Like, I'm representing my man. Like, my man eating you up, Drake. I might have been a fan of you before, but guess what? I ain't a fan of you no more. 
Hey, they really fucking that dance up and it's making me so happy that like they living in their truth and really just like fucking it up. Oh, that's okay. An uh, owl in the cage. What is that supposed to represent? What's the meaning behind that? Oh, 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 oh. Maybe the meaning behind that was the actual owl as Drake was not harm, but we had to show show him and make him a parody that if this is the type of beef that you want. We will whack you. So don't try to be like us because they not like us. Stop thinking that you gangster because we will pull your card. But we showing you at the end of the music video being safe in a safe place. Like we still got respect for you, but don't take me there. Because what that old lady said, I ain't no killer, but don't push me to the limits. <laughs> First of all, I'm here for this performance. I like the fact that Kendrick Lamar um, 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 maximized the opportunity to go against Drake, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like Drake thought in his head Kendrick Lamar was going to back down. Kendrick Lamar was going to be the mature adult. And Kendrick Lamar was like, the industry can hate me. Fuck a mole name, mama. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to scoop down to your level. I'm going to batter you because this is what real rap is about. Let me tell you something. Yeah, real rap can be beef, it can be deadly and dangerous, but at the end of the day, what are you a rapper for if you can't have a healthy rap beef? Like, I feel like everybody should have a healthy rap beef. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's like, bitch, if I don't like you, I should be able to tell, tell you that I don't like you in a fucking song, and then whether it's two, four, five, six, seven years down the line, you know, we may squash the beef and be like, yo, you know, it wasn't that serious, but like, you know I had to push that pin a little bit on you, and you'd be like, yeah, you know, kid, you wasn't really doing nothing like that, but you know, just like laugh it up, because things are never that deep, it's not that serious, and the beef that Kendrick Lamar and Drake had is not that deep or is not that serious at all, they just showing you that you can have a, ha a, a healthy rap spirit, because you know Drake is not really like that, bro, you know, Drake may get somebody to do the dirty work for him, but Kendrick Lamar is the type like, yo, Look, I do the dirty work. I get somebody to do the dirty work for me. In so many words, that's up. Uh, um, 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 what's can't think of that fucking word right now. But um, um, uh, uh, allegedly, like you know, that's what I'm just thinking when I'm putting two and two together. But I like it. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, when beat when fucking Nicki and Remy Ma was beefing, like it was a rap beef. You know, when fucking Biggie and Tupac was beefing, it was a rap beef. It's sad that it had to go down that lane and both of them, you know, died because of the rap beef. But it should never get to that point where you're ready to kill somebody when you are a rapper. So, you know, these are things that you should be taking notes of or you should be jotting down. Like, okay, but like one day we're not going to like each other. They're going to say this and I'm going to have to respond with a diss track. There's a lot of old heads that feel offended or there's a lot of old heads in the game that don't want the rap beef to carry on because they don't want nobody to die. But I don't think it's going to get like that between Drake and Kendrick Lamar. Like, I feel like when they see each other, it's going to be a whole different energy, a whole different ball game. Now, people in their crew that's affiliated with them may feel a different way and may, you know, have had beef amongst each other and fighting and things like that. But they could probably just tell a group, like, yo, chill, like, we offer that. It was a little season. You know, it was awakening. You know, that happened. You know, it is what it is. We're kind of over right now. But um, I liked it. I liked it. And like I said, Kendrick Lamar, he got the number one song right now for the summer. You play East Coast, West Coast, anywhere in the fucking world. They dancing, they bobbing, they weaving to it. They having fun. You know, hey, 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 hey. Run for your life. Like, it's so catchy. It's a catchy song. Like, it's not one of those, like, songs where it's just like, oh, God, like, this is bars. Like, no, he really capitalized and made a hit 
meme song of viral sensation. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, I just spit on a fucking screen. Oh my god. But if you guys do this reaction, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. I love y'all. See y'all next time. Peace. Guess what? Let me hear you say, OBO. OBO. Then spin this way. Spin this way. Spin this way. Peace.